Hey everyone, and welcome to the wildest animal adventure you'll have this week. Forget tigers, forget bears, because today, we're going on the hunt for a giant rat. Not just any giant rat, mind you, but a coconut cracking, tree dwelling, giant rat that lives on a remote island in the Solomon Islands. Buckle up, because this is one wild ride. Imagine this, you're a mammalogist, your life dedicated to furry friends. You hear whispers of a giant, coconut-cracking rat living in trees on a remote island. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, for Dr. Tyrone Lavery, it was a mission. For years, Lavery searched for this elusive Vika, as the locals called it. He set traps, he climbed trees, he even befriended the islanders who swore they'd seen the beast. But Vika hid well, leaving Lavery questioning his sanity, and the existence of giant rats in general. Just when hope dwindled, loggers stumbled upon Vika's secret hideout, a felled tree. Sadly, the fall injured the creature, but it provided Lavery with the first physical evidence, a giant rat skull. This wasn't your average sewer sculler. This was a big boy, for times the size of a regular rat, with powerful jaws and tree-gripping feet. But Lavery craved more than bones. He wanted to see Vika alive, scurrying through the rainforest canopy. So. He returned to Vangunu, armed with camera traps and a secret weapon, sesame oil, turns out, regular peanut butter only attracted pesky cousins. And guess what? It worked! The cameras captured the first ever images of Vika, a magnificent, ginger giant with a mischievous glint in its eye. But amidst the celebration, a shadow loomed. Vika's home, the last untouched forest on Vangunu, was slated for logging. This discovery could be the giant rat's last stand. Vika is more than just a cool animal. It's a living relic, a testament to island evolution and a vital part of Vangunu's culture. Its songs and stories echo through the rainforest, reminding us of our connection to the natural world. But Vika's future hangs by a thread. Logging threatens to silence its songs forever. We need to act now, before this giant rat becomes just another legend. We can support organizations fighting to protect Vika's home, such as the Zyra Conservation Area or the Field Museum. We can also raise awareness and celebrate its unique existence. Remember, even the smallest of U.S. can make a difference. So, let's channel our inner mammalogists and fight for Vika. Who knows, maybe one day we'll all be sharing stories of the giant rat that defied extinction, thanks to a little teamwork and a whole lot of sesame oil. Together, we can ensure that the giant rat of the Solomon Islands, Uramis Vika, isn't just a character in a story, but a thriving member of our planet's incredible biodiversity.